Hello everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous sessions, we discussed about all SDLC models and requirement engineering process with example. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about the next important topic that is software requirement specification or SRS document. Let's start the session. In today's session, we will discuss about what is SRS, their need, their structure, characteristics of good SRS and some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper. Now, let's see all these points one by one. The first thing is what exactly SRS? See, as we discussed earlier, in software development life cycle, the first phase is requirement gathering and analysis phase. Here, project head collect all the requirements from the customer. Now, this all requirements are mentioned in one document. This document is called as SRS, that is Software Requirement Specification Document. As per the definition, SRS document mention complete description about how the system is expected to perform, behavior of system, and functional and non-functional requirement of system. They mention every requirement discussed with the customer. Basically, SRS is a formal report. And this report sign off at the end of requirement engineering phases. These are the different users of SRS. Like client and customer use the SRS document to check that whether every requirement have mentioned clearly or not. Development team use for development purpose and maintenance team technical writers use the SRS document as per their requirement. Next. The next thing is need of SRS document. Why SRS document have generated at the end of requirement gathering phase. First, SRS document mention every requirement discussed with customer in proper structure manner. Second thing is developer use SRS document for development purpose because it check that every requirement have exactly meet with the customer. SRS document also provide all the necessary information to all the team members. For example, Developer use SRS document for development purpose to check the requirements. Then tester use SRS document for test cases purpose. Basically, it provide all the necessary information to all the team members. It also minimize misunderstanding between development team and the customer because every requirement have mentioned simple and clear manner. Due to SRS document, developer decide the delivery date or final release date of the particular product. And Due to SRS document, everything mentioned clearly, so it is easy to find out overall budget of the project. So these are the need of the SRS document. The next thing is structure of SRS, how to rise SRS document. So let's take an example of college management system. The first part of SRS document is introduction. Here you have to mention the purpose behind developing college management system application. Means which type of organization use the particular product, the aim, the goal behind developing a particular project. Next one is the intended audience, means which type of user use the particular application. For example, the college management system application used by student, teachers, HOD, principals. So these all are the intended audience. Next one is the scope. Scope means future of particular project. In future, you can add some additional features and also college management system application used by universities also. So what will be the future of particular project here you have to mention it. Next one is the definition. We can say definition means some abbreviations or some short forms. For example, there is a HOD. Some user can't understand what is HOD. So HOD means head of department. So everything, every definition have mentioned clearly. The last one is the references. References means project head check that whether the particular application is already developed or not. If it is already developed, refer those particular application and also add some new features in it. So this all information have entered into the references. Now second part of SRS document is overall description. The first one is a user interface means every user having the different interface. Student having another interface, teacher having another interface, same HOD having another interface. So every user having different interface, different features. Next one is a system interface. System interface means which type of server used. For example, Apache, HTTP, HTTPS. So this all information have mentioned here. Next one is a software and hardware requirements. 
which type of software which type of programming languages and framework used for development purpose and hardware requirements for accessing a particular college management system application which type of hardware used for example keyboard mouse then monitor so this all requirement list mentioned here the last one is a constraints constraints means condition for example student can't edit their attendance or can't edit their marks right this is a condition next condition is you can enter a password while login only three times after that it display the error error of fail so this type of conditions have mentioned under the constraints and next one is a user characteristics user characteristics means interface of every user means teacher having mention the attendance of every student student can't edit their attendance teacher also set the question paper by using the particular application and user can't uh, edit their question paper user just mention their answers right so these are the user characteristics develop a project as per the user features the next part is system feature and requirement here you have to mention all the functional requirement means which type of features customer want use case and sequence diagram it display how your product work in future for example first there is a registration form you just register your system after that there is a username password after clicking on login button next page is open so the view means after clicking on button which page will be open so their sequence so this all things are showing by using a particular diagram next one is the external interface requirement for example a particular student want to pay up their fee college fee okay so when they click on pay button it redirect on the google pay application or phone pay application means they use external app external interface so this all information have mentioned here the next one is a database requirement which type of database used for development purpose like mysql oracle etc then non functional requirement means all the requirement related to the performance their security their cost then uh, their portability means a particular product work on windows operating system as well as linux operating system this is called as portability then their accuracy quality so this all requirement mentioned under the non functional requirement and last one is a deliver for approval means this all srs document after completing deliver to the customer customer check all this document if customer want any changes they do all these changes under this document if customer satisfy then this document sent to the next designer or development team so this is all about structure of srs the next one is the characteristics of good srs so while writing srs the first one is their correctness means each and every functional and non functional requirement discuss with customer mention accurately correctly completeness completeness means it should mention all the essential features like their functionality performance which type of design constraints customer want everything mentioned clearly or completely consistency consistency means complete srs report follow a particular format the format related to the tables diagrams so they follow a particular format here consistent format next one is a unambiguous unambiguous means they should not mention any confusion between uh, customer and developer everything mentioned uniquely and clearly next one is a ranking for importance and stability it means suppose there are total 10 requirements from that 10 requirements five requirements customer want on urgent basis so the srs document mention which type of requirements are uh, on urgent basis and which type of requirements are not urgent basis next one is a modifiability modifiability means if customer want any changes it quickly obtain changes in particular system next next one is a verifiability means all the srs document srs requirement is verified by the all the stakeholder and the customer next one is a traceability traceability means every requirement having the unique number for example requirement 1 requirement 2 requirement 3 in this way it is very easy to use for development purpose as well as in future development next one is the design independence in srs document multiple designs have mentioned but developer use any one final design for development purpose there is no any implementation details means coding details not mentioned in srs document next one is the testability testability means srs document mention all the test cases and test plan which is beneficial for the tester 
Next one is understandable by the customer. Means every requirement, every language should be kept simple and clear, which is understandable by the customer. The last one is a right level of abstraction. Means every requirement have mentioned clearly in SRS document. But after that, project head then uh, the developer do some survey regarding the particular project. So these details are not necessary to showing in SRS document or show to the customer. So mention only required details in SRS document. Next. So this is all about SRS document. These are the some important questions that I have asked in previous year question paper. What are the characteristics of good SRS? Then what is the need of SRS document? Explain SRS with example. So you have to prepare all these questions as per your exam point of view. They will ask any one question from these questions. Next. It's all about SRS document. Thank you. Keep learning.